Uh, welcome to St. Vincent. Good to have you here. South Africa through to Super 8s. Um, it's been a good tournament, of course, uh, some like two really close wins. So what all to look forward to in the game against Nepal? Um, yeah, it's another, it's another international match, another fixture, and we're not taking them lightly. And um, we're going to try and uh, play some more of the same cricket or even better that we've been playing in the tournament. What uh, you've made out of the wicket so far, a bit of a challenge. The ballers are back into the game, it seems. Uh, enjoying that, the fact that the ballers have held the upper hand so far in the tournament? As a bowler, I must say, yeah, I have enjoyed it, 100%. Um, but conditions will probably level out now. The Caribbean experience, uh, you've played cricket here before. What do you think about uh, like how different would it be potentially to USA? And also the fact that uh, we saw the home team getting incredible support uh, the other night in Trinidad. What kind of support do you expect? Uh, we saw uh, the, uh, in the game earlier today, both uh, Netherlands and Bangladesh having good support. So looking forward to starting the, the Caribbean leg? Yeah, um, 100%. I don't know how many South African fans are in St. Vincent, <laughs> but however, maybe there are like, like 10 of them. If, however many of them there are, hopefully they rock up. But I'm not expecting a whole lot of support. Um, Perhaps uh, maybe the, some of the locals support South Africa. Yeah, so hopefully they can turn out in numbers. Is the dream uh, for that elusive trophy, of course, now getting stronger. And uh, we've seen South Africa, you also made it to the semi-finals in the 50-over World Cup. This uh, team uh, looks incredibly strong and has been doing really well. Uh, how is it going? Is it day by day? Or uh, you perhaps it's a target considering the history uh, not too much in focus? To, perhaps to like focus on a game at a time? I believe we're going to win it. Um, and you just have to take it game by game. Yeah, you can't look too far ahead. Uh, okay, so uh, you played with Sandeep Lamishane back in Delhi Daredevils uh, and he's back in Nepal team. Uh, do you think his inclusion will have any uh, positive effect in Nepal team and how are you looking forward against the class against Nepal? Yeah, he's, uh, he's a mystery spinner. So any mystery spinner is... Uh, going to be tough to play and um, but I know that the guys are really looking forward you know f uh, to facing that challenge in New York the batters didn't get the chance to open up but uh, this is a different piece we've seen uh, the today's match as well uh, how do you see your middle order stacking up uh, with their experts in the IPL we've seen them do you think this is the right time for them to open up their arms and get some runs in uh, actually I haven't really seen how the wicket played I haven't seen the game yet but according to the net, uh, there's going to be some turn and it's going to be uh, a bit slow. Um, but then uh, I'm sure guys are getting to grips with uh, how the wicket, wicket is playing and already forming game plans as to how they're going to uh, combat uh, you know, uh, any, any, any plans that, that, that are formed against us. Hi, Kagi. So uh, congratulations for going into the Super 8 now. Uh, as a team, uh, when you play uh, like a qualifier like Nepal, uh, what, what basically goes through the mind of a big cricketing nation like South Africa? And, and, like wha and what's your plan for tomorrow? As, an, as a cricketing nation, how much South Africa knows about Nepal? Um, to be honest, I, I don't know a fair amount about you know, how they play. But you know, we have our analysis and we will do our homework. But um, I know that um, they've been really, you know, playing playing more and more uh, over the past uh, number of years, um, and it's good to see in the game of cricket uh, that, that it's growing. And um, yeah, like I said earlier, it's not a game that we're going to take lightly, uh, not at all. We can't take it lightly. And uh, you talked about about ten South African fans there. We met around. Uh, 100 Nepali fans already in St. Vincent, so you can expect uh, their support as well. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, so just about the format of the tournament, 20 teams are competing. Well, what's your take on the format? And we've seen some uh, incredible upsets already. So enjoying uh, this, uh, again, the gathering of uh, so-called lesser nations, but uh, they're very much punching above their weight, it seems, and giving a really tough run uh, to the full members. I think, uh, like I said earlier, cricket is, is growing and uh, not only by the amount of teams that are there, but also with a, a world event being hosted in, in, the Ameri well, in America, um, West Indies, you know, the different countries in the West Indies 
are not uh, foreign to hosting uh, world events, but especially with the inclusion of the USA and teams like Uganda, teams like Oman, um, who who have come on and, and had their chance to shine on the stage shows that cricket's growing and um, you look at uh, and you hope that you really hope that the the fan engagement can grow around the world and uh, you hope that um, not all all eyes are going to well, all eyes will be on the biggest teams but hopefully they can grow too and cricket can be a real real world event. Uh, finally, about your batters, you've had. Uh, you've got an incredible batting lineup, some ex incredibly explosive players who have uh, done really well around the world in various competitions. Um, what's the mood like in the batting camp, especially with the pitches perhaps not being too conducive? Are they getting itchy for the big scores? Do they really want to flex their muscles and hit those big sixes? And any, any suggestions from you to them as to how they can perhaps uh, you know, go on uh, their business in the upcoming days? <laughs> you want me to say this in a press conference? Um, I think that um, the, the guys are really keen for the challenge and with us it's just about uh, winning. Um, whether we, we score 96 and win or whether we score 296 and win. At the end of the day it's about the W and that's what we've done so far. But I, we, we do expect, I do expect that the conditions are going to level up. Because you had the drop in pitches in the USA and you never really know how they're going to play. Um, you know, and we had an idea of how, well, a f full idea of how they play. And um, now you've, you've actually got squares that have been there for years, you know, uh, here in these, in these venues. And you'll probably see more competitive scores. And um, yeah, you look at the game between Australia and, and um, England, where 200 played, you know, 150. So if, if you do bat well, um, in these conditions, you can still reach 200, but um, um, you, you want you want to you want to get a game uh, and find pitches where you have enough in it for the bowlers and enough in it for the batters, because that's essentially what a cricket game is. Otherwise, you, you might as well just call it batting, or you might as well call it bowling. Um, but you know the the guys, uh, you, you you can't really judge their form on on wickets you know that we've we've just played on um it's uh you know uh, as much as it's it's not an excuse but you know your common sense would prevail and you would say that it's you know you can't really blame the batters um but in saying that um no one's no one's got any demons everyone's moving forward we play the conditions as we see them and on our day we know, you know, the sky is the limit in terms of batting. Thank you very much, Rezo and Lucy, and all the very best for the game. Thank you. Thanks.